Today we're going to turn this fish into a Giyutaku print, and I got inspired to do it myself after watching an absolute expert turn my white sea bass into something I now hang on my wall. The first step is to catch your fish. I decided on this gray bar grunt. You're going to want to dry the fish off with paper towels. One hack I found was keeping the fish in the refrigerator for a day. That dried it out a bit, and I kept the guts in the fish to keep the shape. You'll want to pull the fins out so they flare, and I recommend using a smaller fish for your first Giyutaku like this one, because I'll show you why bigger fish are harder in a bit. Next, you'll want to grab your roll of rice paper. It's typically used for calligraphy, and cut it to size. Give yourself two to three inches on each side of the fish. All right, so this is the least stressful part of this whole process. We're gonna wanna take a little bit of this black sumi ink and a small brush and apply a light coating across the entire fish. Don't worry, sumi ink is totally non-toxic and we're actually going to wash it off at the end of getting our prints. So yeah, you can enjoy the fish that you shot. You can see that I'm rushing here a little bit. I was in Baja and it was hot outside. So the ink was drying pretty quickly. So hopefully you're doing this in a more controlled environment so you can take your time since this is actually super relaxing. Once you've coated the fish, you're gonna need to grab a paper towel and dab off some of the excess ink, which brings out the texture of the scales. Otherwise, you'll end up with a mess like this yellowtail, which I failed at. Now comes the hard part. We're gonna wanna put the rice paper down on the fish and you need to be very careful here. This is really stressful. You don't want the paper to move horizontally, which will distort the image, and you'll also want to make sure the paper touches without any gaps or creases. And you'll use your fingers to press down firmly, but not too firmly where you're gonna squish the meat underneath. Try to touch the entire surface of the fish in little sections at a time, and you'll know if you left too much ink on the fish before you put down the paper because it'll bleed through and make a big spot. By the way, I'm thinking about putting together a beginner's Gyutaku kit, that would make it super easy to make your first few prints. If you think that's a good idea, just let me know in the comments. All right, the last step is to peel the paper off the fish. And if you messed up, don't worry, just do the whole process again. In fact, I like to do at least three prints of the same fish, and then I just pick the best one for my wall. Well, I hope you found that helpful. I can't wait to see what you've made, and be sure to check out this next video.